Joining me now is Jenica Atwin, the former Green member and now the Liberal member of Parliament for Fredericton. Ms. Atwin, uh, first of all, thanks for joining us. Sure, happy to be here. Um, I'm going to ask because this is important to your constituents. There's still a certain amount of confusion in the air uh, about why you stepped down. Your former leader, Annamie Paul, Green Party leader, says you didn't leave the party because of a disagreement over her leadership or her party's stand uh, on Israel-Palestine. Is that true? No. Um, and I and I just want to be as respectful as I can. I, I don't want to leave on bad terms. I, I have, you know, I, I wish everyone well. Um, I just, but yes, that's the reason that I left. Okay. What was it then? Uh, was it her position? Um, she called for a de-escalation in the conflict and for both sides to return to negotiations in the Israel-Palestine conflict in Gaza. Um, was it her statement or was it the statement by her now former senior advisor, Noah Zatman? Well, you know, I, I healthy debate is is wonderful. It's ideal. It's how we get good policy. So it's it's not about her position at all, um, and it, it's about what came out of uh, you know the the lack of communication around reaching uh, you know perhaps a, an understanding, um, and certainly Mr. Zatzman complicated things in a, in a big way, um, you know, publicly attacking me, and it hasn't been easy. Um, so it's a it was a decision that I made uh, that did not come lightly. Many sleepless nights. Um, a lot of thought went into this. And uh, again, for my constituents, I hope to prove to them that I'm still me. I'm still able to do the work that I came here to do. My values are the same. Okay, I want to ask you the the. Um, so it was it was his what's construed as a threat. He said, "We will work to defeat you in, and bring in progressive climate champions who are Antifa and pro LGBT and pro Indigenous sovereignty and Zionists." Uh, was it that statement that? made the difference? Well, I mean, that certainly was the catalyst. Even from there, I think we could have, you know, worked through conflict. Um, I, I was open to that, um, but it, it didn't happen. Um, so, yes, uh, unfortunately, I don't meet all of the criteria of that list. Um, and I, I just, it was difficult for me to do my work in that environment. I have to ask, um, the Liberal Party's position is not that far from your leader's position, your former leader, the, the Green Party's position, uh, Annemi Paul. I'm calling for de-escalation, calling for respect on both sides, calling for a two-state solution, uh, calling for respect of Israel's right to exist and security, and calling for the sovereignty and uh, self-determination of the Palestinians. That is what Annemi Paul wants, and that is what the Liberal Party official policy is. Are you going to be comfortable with the Liberal Party's position on Israel-Palestine? Well, you know, we've, we've had conversations um, about this and about my stance, and it's very clear to me that there are other colleagues in the House, uh, in the Liberal Party, that would support my views, but also support the idea that we can work towards, um, again, understanding. Uh, healthy debate is important, and uh, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking to work on a team. There are many voices that have different perspectives, but it's about respect, and it's about collaboration. Um, so regardless if, we're, if we differ uh, in our opinions, I hope to go in and to be able to, to voice my, my voice in a way that's going to be respected. Okay, your two um, former colleagues, uh, Elizabeth May and uh, Paul Manley. Uh, Paul Manley was quoted as uh, taking a similar position as yours on the Middle East question. Uh, both of them decided to stay in the caucus and not to leave. Uh, they see they're heartbroken by your decision. Was it easier for you? But was this decision made easier by an offer from the Liberals? Have they offered you the seat? Are you going to get the nomination for Fredericton? Um, I, I will have the nomination for Fredericton. Um, it certainly is is part of that. Again, to see one door closing and one door opening uh, feels feels better than being kind of left out in the cold. Uh, Elizabeth and Paul will be my friends forever. I have nothing but love and respect for them. Um, it's devastating for me as well. I'm, I'm just as heartbroken. I never intended for this to happen. Ms. Uh, Paul also said that your discussions with the Liberals predated uh, this disagreement about the Middle East. Is that true? No, that's not true. Okay. Um, now, your constituents, you know, uh, I, we were campaigning with you in Fredericton. They're going to ask about positions you took as a Green Party candidate on the Trans Mountain Pipeline, on the government's, uh, you criticized the Trudeau government for abandoning electoral reform, on fracking, on climate action. You said the not enough movement, uh, even on reconciliation. Uh, how are you going to be able to campaign for the Liberals now when you, you criticize them as recently as just after the last budget, saying that they had given up on an ambitious plan for the future? What are you going to say to your constituents? Well, that all of those views stand. Um, I'm going in to be a fighter. I'm going to try this to work with government to see if I'm sitting at the same table, if I can be more effective. Um, you know, I've, 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 the last two years, everything I've ever said uh, in the House, in my statements and speeches, um, all true, 
I, I would never say something that I didn't firmly believe with my whole heart. And that remains the same, uh, you know, openly critical uh, of the liberal approach to, to many issues. But again, I'm here to work with a, a team who is accepting me for my difference of opinion and wants to work with me towards, you know, what could be a better future uh, for Canadians that would include that perspective that I bring to the table. So uh, the proof will be in the work that I put in, um, but I'm going in to fight and to be heard. Okay, um, we were in your riding for several days and the dynamic of your victory was quite exceptional. Uh, it was a tight three-way race. I mean, just a few percentage points. The Liberals and the Conservatives have held that riding quite often. Very tight race. One of the big factors was a local MLA, David Kuhn, who's also the leader of the Greens in New Brunswick. He is a powerhouse. He helped you get elected. I remember you admitting that. His personal popularity and his uh, help in campaigning. Uh, there's a great student vote. There's a great Green vote. He says he's regrets your decision to leave the Greens. Uh, you made the wrong choice, according to him. Uh, are you concerned about uh, losing that whole Green constituency in the riding? I mean, absolutely. Um, again, it's going to take a lot of repair uh, for relationships on the ground. That's, that's work that I knew would come with this decision. Um, you know, David, I still love and care for him deeply. Um, he's been such an important role in my journey. And I hope that at some point we can continue that, you know, personal relationship as well. Um, so, I mean, you know, it's, it's tough. I just, I hope I can reiterate that this, this decision was not made lightly. I considered, you know, every aspect of the, you know, the questions that you're asking me. Absolutely. Um, so it's just, I'm going to have to prove that I'm strong enough, um, to make sure that this was the right decision. You're going to be asked all these questions on the doorstep in the next election. Absolutely. And you know what? You know, be, being worried about election, um, that's kind of gone in that I, I want the opportunity to speak to everyone face to face to explain, uh, you know, my reasonings, explain that my priorities uh, remain the same, what I'm going to do, what I see as a potential for opportunity here. Um, so I say, you know, bring it on. I'm ready for those okay. tough conversations. Last question that everyone's asking. You were speaking with Dominique LeBlanc yesterday. He helped uh, introduce you as a new liberal candidate. Did he give you any inkling as to when the election will happen? Uh, no, not really. Just everyone kind of has this feeling that it's it potentially could be in early fall. Um, and so that's kind of what I am expecting. But no, I don't think Dominic knows either when it might be. All right. I want to thank you very much. Thanks for speaking with us. Thank you so much, Martin.